Hello and welcome again to MTG Studios. Today we're going to create a landscape painting. Our featured artist is the contemporary Cherokee artist Kay Walking Stick. She was born in 1935 in Syracuse, New York and now lives with her husband in Easton, Pennsylvania. You can find out more about Kay at her website and if you're in my classroom you can read more about this in the directions that I've loaded into Google Classrooms. Kay mostly paints oceanscapes, landscapes, and figures. She became quite famous for her diptych style of landscape paintings. They're very unusual. And today you'll paint your own diptych style landscape. Now a diptych is a painting or work of art that has two pieces to it and they're usually either hinged together or displayed together side by side. And they are two distinct paintings but they fit together. So the first thing you want to do is find a landscape that you want to paint. Now you'll have your choice of either watercolor paints or chalk pastels. We've worked with both these mediums in the classroom, so you'll get to decide which one you would like to use for this painting. So the first thing you want to do is find a landscape that inspires you and one that you would enjoy painting. Once you find a landscape that you want to paint, you'll draw it first in your sketchbook. Then when you're ready, if you're going to create this in watercolor, you'll get two pieces of watercolor paper to create your landscape painting on. If you decide you want to use the chalk pastels, I would recommend instead of just plain white paper, how about selecting two colored pieces of construction paper to create your image on. I'm going to break up this tutorial into three parts. Part one will be the introduction and the drawing of the landscape. Part two will be a walkthrough of the watercolor process to create your diptych. And part three will be the chalk pastel step-by-step -step process to create your diptych painting. So let's get started. As with all creative endeavors, we want to read through the material in your Google Classrooms first. And you want to check your supply list and read through every direction. There are many choices in this particular project. You have two choices. You can create a standard landscape in the diptych style and add uh, some printmaking to your concept. Or you may choose to create a landscape diptych in the first style where half of it is representational and the other half is completely abstract. The other decision you need to make is if you're going to use chalk pastels or watercolor paint. Again, read through all of the instructions. The very first thing you're going to do is plan your diptych painting. You want to do a Google search perhaps of landscape images or you can use one of the ones that I've loaded in your Google Classrooms under Handouts and those are images that I took uh, here in Florida and also during my stay in New Mexico. After you've selected the landscape you're going to create, the next step is to sketch it in your sketchbook. I've printed mine out because I don't always trust the technology to work. So if you're afraid your iPad might die on you in the middle of creating this image, you may want to print it out at home in color so you have it in case the technology fails. I always like to look at the image on my iPad while I'm using the one printed out because the color is much truer on my iPad and my saved images. So the first thing I want to do then is create some basic outlines and I'm going to start towards the top of my paper with the contour edge of the top of that mountain. Thank you. 
You don't want to get too hung up in all of the details. You want to perhaps simplify some of it and just go for some of those contour edges that you see or that strike you as important to add in. So here is my basic idea of the diptych that I want to create and I am going to um, draw a line down the middle about halfway where I know that what I've drawn in my sketchbook here is going to go on the one panel and what I've drawn here is going to go on the other panel. So join me in the next video where I will demonstrate how to create this in watercolor paints. And then in the final video in this series, I'll demonstrate how to recreate the same image using the chalk pastels. Mm -hmm.